Hello and welcome back to Owie Bakes and Happy New Year! Um, I decided today that to kick off the new year on a good foot, I didn't want to make something super heavy and it's morning. I've got my cute little polar bear coffee mug, so I decided we're going to make a baked oatmeal to kick off 2023 on the right foot. Before we get started, I just wanted to say thank you so much for 100 subscribers. When I first started this channel, I had no idea that it would ever become this big. It was just my little passion project, baby. So I'm so happy that you guys are finding value in it. It just makes me so excited. So let's make some oatmeal. We got two cups of old fashioned oats going in. Oh, I have to preheat the oven. Preheat your oven. So we have our oven preheated to 350 and now we've got two cups of old fashioned oats going into a bowl. Roughly two cups. We're gonna add a tablespoon of flax seed. I like flax seed because it helps with digestion but it also acts as like a bonding agent for the oatmeal. And this is kind of like a play on apple pie flavored oatmeal. So we're going to add a teaspoon of cinnamon. Ah! We're going to do half a teaspoon of ginger. And then we're going to do a quarter of a teaspoon of nutmeg. And you know if those three spices are going in anything, it's not gonna taste bad. Now we're on to our apples. So I have three peeled Granny Smiths right here that I'm gonna cut into chunks. This recipe was a great excuse to practice one of my many New Year's resolutions, which is getting better at knife skills. I got it, the bear claw thing, protect the fingies. I would just like to work on getting a cleaner dice slash chop on my various fruits and vegetables. I think I'm doing a pretty good job. Main goal is to just not lose any part of my fingertips. Would be great. A little more than a cup, but I like my oatmeal really appley, so that's okay. We are gonna beat one egg. Just to throw that bully in there. And we're gonna do two tablespoons of maple syrup. This is not real maple syrup, but we're gonna work with it, okay? I just don't like real maple syrup on my pancakes because I'm from Missouri and I grew up with the sweet ass Walmart brand maple syrup on my Bisquick pancakes, okay? The real stuff does not taste as good to me. And I will die on that hill. <sighs> Tablespoon of olive oil. And then for a little bit of texture, we're gonna chop up some pecans. You of course can just do a rough chop on these. Luckily for me, no fancy knife skills required. And then the last thing, is a cup and a half of milk or almond milk, whatever you wanna use. And then we're just mixing this all together. It's gonna look like there's a lot of excess liquid, but remember kids, this is oatmeal, so it's gonna get absorbed while it bakes. So now, spray our eight by eight baking dish. Pour up on the contents. Oh, look how good of timing I have, really. Make sure everything gets all smoothed out so it looks beautiful before you pop it in the oven. And then this goes in the oven for about 40 minutes. So let's do it. Ooh. All right, I'll see you guys in 40 minutes. My entire apartment smells like Santa's goddamn workshop, so that means it's time to get the oatmeal out of the oven. Oh. 
Oh yeah, come to mama. I so wish you could smell the smell that I smelled when I pulled this out of the oven. It literally smelled like apple pie. Okay, you can eat this warm or cold. I like it warm. So we're just gonna go in. It's got that nice crisp top. Oh my gosh, it smells like apple pie, literally. <clears throat> I'm trying to not burn my face off on this. Mmm! Mm hmm. It's really good. <clears throat> this might be the kind of thing. Or you want to put like a little like drizzle of milk on top if you're into eating oatmeal with milk. It's so good, it's super flavorful. The oatmeal is cooked all the way through. It's got a lot of different textures with the apples and the walnuts. Mm. This is a great way to start off your new year. Thank you guys so much for watching. Please let me know in the comments if you gave this recipe a try and I will see you all in 2023.